for the part of history. And the climate clock happens to be one of those strategies through which we need to draw awareness, sensitization about climate action. So the climate clock came in as a strategy to drive awareness, to drive transformation. However, we have decided in Nigeria that presenting the climate clock has to go through a strategic approach. Climate change is a global issue impacting different parts of the world at various, very degrees. However, developing countries like Nigeria have less capacity to adapt to climate change impacts. In that order, women and the vulnerable groups have the least capacity to adapt to the impacts. So when you are looking for the face of climate change, look at the face of the woman. Five major climate change assessment cycles have been completed by the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. This report identified rapidly growing climate-related impacts and risks, including more intense storms, collapsing ecosystems, and record heat waves of global warming, which we are all experiencing at the moment. That we are the first to receive the climate clock. We want to make sure that every youth takes responsibility in becoming sustainable in the way we produce, in the way we industrialize, and in the way we take climate action. Today, I represent the face of the youth to say thank you very much for this historic event, Ambassador Ringo and Dr. Paul Abolo, our own Iron Man for making this happen. Thank you very much. Africa will go where Nigeria will go is to not just continue to be the recipient of the impact, but be the nucleus of the change, the nucleus of the success of the green movement and an example to even to the industrialized nations of the world. How great of a country and a continent that this is. It is now time for Africa to not just be the importer of health from the industrialized nations of the world. This is Africa's opportunity to be the exporter of health to the nations of the world. There's no reason why the new technologies that are in place right now to help curb CO2 to the atmosphere cannot be researched and developed and manufactured on African soil, owned by Africans. So please come forward as we receive the climate clock, which will eventually be on the desk of your honorable president, Buhari. Today, we are again gathered to receive this, the global clock, on behalf of our country and on behalf of the continent. And it's not only symbolic, but I know that um, it is a turning point for Africa. This clock symbolizes the grim realities of the climate issues that we have to take action now. Like my brother Jerome said, we need now solutions. And it also signifies hope that something can be done when we take the right action.